I'm Solomon Washington from Northwest High School. And the title of my poem is Scatterbrain. My frontal lobes have somehow been separated from my skull, leaving a gaping hole in place of what was the source of my judgment. I'm stuck with a warped perception of wrong and right, right and left, and I'm left to decide through what I write. I run through paradoxes and contradictions. My occipital lobes, located in the back of my head, have shot out of my cranium like the ammo of a double-barreled shotgun. If it's my primary function is vision, then how can I possibly see where I'm going? If this fragment of my mind is behind me, then how can I ever move forward and progress? My parietal lobes have vanished without a trace, and not, I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm still on the planet Earth. My senses are non-existent. My body has gone numb, and I'm drifting through an empty dimension. I can't determine the atmosphere of this endless abyss with zero gravity and a spoonful of oxygen. My temporal lobe has crawled out of my ears, observing and absorbing all of the voices and noise pollution, a society full of brain-dead zombies that seek to feast on this scattered supercomputer. There is no shelter among the city skyscrapers, and there is no solitude among the sewers, an army of the brain-dead undead fascinated by petty unnecessary things that don't even matter. They love matter. They're materialistic. They say time is money and money makes the world go around. I was unable to burn the root of all evil. What was my motivation for letting my gray matter explode? Why did I allow the sections of my cerebrum to separate and scatter throughout the farthest corners of the universe? The answer is simple. It was all part of my plan to preserve and escape from all the chaos and ignorance that inhabits the third rock. I have nullified my senses to keep my soul from corruption and hope my body can withstand the destruction. Mind over matter and soul before flesh, the only thing that matters to me when I meet my death. My spirit will forever be immortalized. My spirit will live forever and manifest these pages. My essence possesses every sentence, every syllable, punctuation mark, and pen stroke. Even when my time has expired, you will be able to tell how my eyes had burned so brightly with desire. As my brain scatters, I pray that each piece is put to good use. My way of spreading knowledge and wisdom and preserving my greatest weapon.